It is the one test that could tell you whether you're safe to leave the house. The antibody test, a finger prick test for people without symptoms to determine if your blood carries the antibodies of COVID-19, meaning you've been exposed to the virus at some point and now potentially immune. How immune? We just don't know. We still have a lot to learn about what having antibodies means. Does it mean that you're immune? Can people be reinfected? How long will immunity last? At least 70 antibody tests have been developed by companies or hospitals taking advantage of relaxed FDA rules during the coronavirus crisis. But without the FDA certifying the tests, there's no way to know which ones work, leading to companies to use lists of fine print, including positive results may be due to past or present infection with other viruses. One sign of the confusion, Dr. Allison Fox bought 200 tests for her practice in New Jersey, only to be told by the New Jersey Health Department, do not offer any COVID-19 tests to your patients. It's incredibly frustrating. It, it's, it doesn't make sense to me at all. The FDA is now trying to straighten the mess that has been what one testing official called the wild, wild west of antibody marketed tests. National Cancer Institute and its serum testing lab has been drafted to determine which tests work, which do not. That is key, says Dr. Anya Weinberg, who heads up the testing program at New York's Mount Sinai Hospital, which was just given emergency use authorization. So it's incredibly important that as we learn more and use these tests to um, develop our plans and policies, to reopen society that we can rely on the results we're being given. The FDA has given emergency use authorization to four antibody tests, but the very first company to get it hasn't been able to get its tests into the United States. Celex telling CNN Chinese export rules have prevented them from shipping their antibody tests to the U.S. so far, but they hope and expect that this issue will be resolved very soon. Why so important to have widespread antibody testing and make sure they work? Two big reasons, says Harvard epidemiologist Caroline Bucky. So the first thing is just to work out how many people have been infected, whether we're close to the epidemic peak or whether we have a long way to go. And the second involves what's known as herd immunity. If having the virus and recovering means we won't get it again, and enough of us have had the coronavirus and now carry that immunity, then a large percentage of us of the herd won't be able to spread it. We don't need everybody in the population to be immune to the virus. We just need enough people to be immune that the virus can't start to spread again and take off exponentially. That's why it's so important for this next batch of testing to be widely available, easily reportable, and above all, accurate.